Calabria is a land of fierce beauty. But for decades, these mountains have been the home and the hideaway of a vicious mafia syndicate. From these small villages, the Ndrangheta has built a global criminal empire worth $80 billion a year. It rules with violence and intimidation. La Ndrangheta invece ci dà in silenzio, ti fa scomparire, non sappiamo che fine fai. Now the Italian state is fighting back. It's arrested and charged hundreds of people in a bid to crack open the mafia. One man is leading the charge, and he's risking his life to do it. Cioè, se io mi fermassi oggi, mi sentirei un vigliacco, e per me non ha senso vivere da vigliacchi. It's given the locals the courage to speak out. But can this major trial loosen the iron grip of the Indrangheta? In the Calabrian province of Viva Valencia, Sara Scapula and her husband Francesco are visiting their son's grave. I come to find my son there. That's it. I was born with them. This was my family. If my son is not there, Four years ago, Matteo, their only son, was killed by a bomb planted in the family car. The bomb went off here in this laneway, close to the family farm. Both Francesco and Matteo were in the car. Sara came rushing down, but there was nothing she could do. Vedevo lingue di fuoco alzarsi altissime nel cielo e, ed erano a turbinio. Her husband Francesco escaped, but her son did not. E sentivo la sua voce per terra che diceva corri Sara, va salvalo, e Matteo è lì che brucia. You must have been terrified when you, when you saw. A vedere suo padre che bruciava lì che scendeva il grasso quasi della pelle e, e sapere che mio figlio era lì. The bomb was the work of their neighbor, a member of a powerful Calabrian mafia family, the Mancusos. The violence was the culmination of a 30-year dispute over land. <laughs> 